Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, we need you all out there to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave some comments below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content, all right? We are getting right to it. The Brooklyn Nets had a, a bit of a what? Conspiracy theory yesterday. Or oh, they, they attempted to start one. Right. KD was pulled from a game because of COVID protocol. Yeah. Right. Which which is the rules and regulations. Mm-hmm. It was a bit odd how it happened. Yeah. But post game, he was a bit upset. You know, looking for reasoning behind why it happened. They ended up losing the game. And... The loss ended up taking the back seat to the controversy behind it. What you think about that? Well, it was all strange. Everybody dropped the ball, in, including the league, NBA, mm-hmm. because he couldn't start the game because of the COVID protocol. Then he was released to play. So they, they bring him in the game. He plays about a quarter and a half, and then they come back, and he's out. He can't play. Now, if it was contract contact tracing, like they said, you're going back. All right. Um, there's a player. That, there's there's a, a not a player, but someone he's been around mm-hmm. that their test came up to be inconclusive. Yeah. yeah, it was inconclusive, and then. So even if it was inconclusive and you didn't, uh, and that that means that that's it's, that's not saying it is, that's not saying it's not. So you shouldn't allow him to play. Yeah, that's Russian roulette. Yeah. Right. So now you're playing right exactly what you're doing. You're playing Russian roulette. You come you, now you let him play, and then in the meanwhile, while you're letting him play, you find out that that test is actually positive. Mm-hmm. So now you pull him. But look what's in jeopardy: the whole Toronto Raptors squad, the referees. The coaches, everybody's is in jeopardy. Yeah. Now, I mean, it doesn't mean okay, just go ahead and play the game. I understand you had to pull him, but you shouldn't never allowed him to play in the first place. Yeah. Period. So that's where the NBA dropped the ball. Yeah, and, and it's funny that they dropped the ball in that sense because those are mistakes you make early on in the process. You get what I'm saying? Like you went through the entire bubble. Well, see, you- that's the difference. This is different than the bubble. So this is new. Well, the only difference is. Well, the only difference is they're around other people. No, the only difference is, and this is where when I, I say bl- they, the players, right? Yeah. This is where I blame Kevin Durant because in the post-game interview by James Harden, first thing came out of his mouth was he's confused. He's confused, and he doesn't understand. They follow the rules of the protocol, and they get tested every day. Excuse me. Are you following the rules? Because if you are following the rules, who are you around? Yeah. Which is speculation right yeah. now. We must say because the, you know it's a lot to the story that we don't information we don't have. You can't be because it's confidential, right? Yeah. So, so what we do, the information that we do have, it leaves room for us to speculate. Okay, so you was around someone who has it. Now, are they contact? Are, are these people? This person affiliated with the NBA? Mm-hmm. Is this person affiliated with your family? Because all the reports I've ever heard about KD is he wants to ball. All he wants to do is ball. I said it a million times. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. guilty of that. All he wants to do is ball. So you're in the middle of the NBA season. So I'm a I'm a common man, mm-hmm. me, myself, and you know how I am about this pandemic. I go to work because I have to, mm-hmm. and I go home. You don't see me gathering with my friends, you don't, even family members. There's, I don't lost family members in the, in the middle of this pandemic as far as for, with COVID and without. But the point is, there's funerals I don't go to. Of loved ones mm-hmm. because of the pandemic. 
you're in an NBA season, you're jeopardizing the season, your salaries, because if they don't finish the season, their salaries cannot be the same. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. That right. revenue, yeah. So, Kevin Durant, my question to you, did you really follow protocol? Because protocol, you wouldn't be, unless this is a M- someone in the NBA affiliated or your family. I don't want to hear anything about. And then, so now, there's another report that came out on ESPN that stated that courtside, he was with nine rappers, Raptors, courtside. So, well, but, it, but that report is, I, he was around other Raptor players. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, not just. So, my point is, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Now, the whole Raptors team. All the refs that ref last night, mm-hmm. all the coaches and all of them, they're all in jeopardy. So if they if the league is really doing contract tra- um, tracing, Nets shouldn't be playing tonight. I, I can roll with that. Because if they if if So the Raptors shouldn't be playing either if they have a game. Raptors shouldn't be playing, but but the game that I know of, because I'm I wanna watch it. Raptors versus the Nets. Well, I, I did want to watch it until I found out that KD is not playing. And then because my daddy not playing, I'm not going to play something wrong with my wrist. Kyrie Irving. And that's the point what I'm trying to make with this conspiracy theory as if the league don't want Kevin Durant to play in games and they came up with this nonsense. That's nonsensical. It's, it's, that, that don't He's make one sense. of the faces of the league. It's the face of the league. And, one and, of them. Yeah. And that was a that was a national televised game last night. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want Kevin Durant playing? That's when people hear that he's not playing, they they're not up. watching. Well, it goes back to entitlement. You know, the the Babies. people have this this boogeyman complex like someone is always after them but mm. I, I get the the pandemic and you know keeping social distancing and things of that nature it's a bit odd but we've been doing this for almost a year now yeah and this is your job fam like you know what you're supposed to do you know how this work you had this before exactly on my job i have to go online every an hour before work and the questionnaire yeah and do the question mm-hmm. right then I'll get in and I got to take my, my temperature. I, we ha- These are the things that we have to do. Mm-hmm. This is... The- everyone. Dream Team everyone. is you out there. Everyone We're, goes through this process. And this Traveling is the, from state to state. This, this is what is it is. This is the problem with, with, with athletes that make all this. They think they, they're exempt from, the, from what the rest of us have to go through. They act like it's a punishment. We all have to do it. Everyone. We. I don't know about you guys. I hope you are. Because... Our lives depend on it. Mm-hmm. Our loved ones' lives, the people around us, lives depend on it. So you can't stop hanging around certain people. Mm-hmm. Don't it? Wait till the season over. Yeah, and, and they talk as if their money and their contracts make them exempt from this virus. Yeah. Anybody can get it, exactly. and anyone can fall we, victim listen, and, and we perish just, from it. And I say we because I feel like I'm a, I'm I'm so much in love with the NBA that I feel like I'm a part of the family. Mm-hmm. And th- we just lost an analyst, Seku Smith. Yes, we just lost him behind this virus. Mm-hmm. This is a serious thing, and for them to downgrade it, like okay, yeah, the league made mistakes, but I do understand them trying to correct them. Yes, because but the coward way they could have took was allowed him to com- continue the game. No doubt, and, and the backlash would have been even far deeper. But it's pros and cons of everything, and you know, you learn this in elementary school. It's everything is a cause and effect, right? Yeah. The league dropped the ball because KD didn't do his part initially. Exactly. You weren't following the protocol. So this whole thing about James Harden, he's confused. You following protocol. You're not the man to speak on that because prior to this trade, you were reckless. Exactly. Kyrie, you were reckless also. Ky- partying when you needed time and, off. Right. And it's, and this is the, uh, the, the topic that always come up with those three players. Leadership. Mm-hmm. 
You don't have this problem with other teams that have leaders, real leaders. You don't have it. You notice that all the, all the play, star players that we question their leadership, they all have to go through this protocol. You don't see this going through with LeBron James. Not saying that it's not going to happen, but Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, KD, KD, Harden, Kyrie. Kyrie. These these are superstars. I'm not talking about just players in the league where they they got they their contract tracing came from the team. No, these most of these star players. Their problems are coming outside of the league. Mm-hmm. So you mean to tell me this is why they were so nervous and, and refusing to go to the bubble? Because there's protocol, rules, and rules. Yeah, and, and they always feel like they're going to miss something. They're above the law. That's what it is. Yeah. They, 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 they above the law. and They're a common man now. Within this, you got to... Exactly. Yeah. We all are going through the same yeah. thing, but they... They they have this mindset like they like they don't have to do this, mm-hmm. you know. That's why everything is so confusing. I mean, the league dropped the ball, but they're trying to fix it. Listen, the safety last year, Bradley, Avery Bradley, mm-hmm. he refused to go to the bubble because he has a son at home with respiratory issues. Yes, it's correct. So he sits out, miss out on the championship gear in the safest part of the uh, of them playing. I believe that the bubble was 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 safe, and now they're not. And what happens? He ends up with covert. Yeah, yeah. And the problem is he has a son at home with respiratory issues. Kevin Durant, James Harden, and all of them net. Players and coaches that have a problem with understanding and saying they're confused, understand there is nothing. That, we're all confused when it comes down to this pan, this, this, this COVID-19. Mm-hmm. We've been dealing with this for over a year now. Just about. Yeah. Best about a year now. We're all going through it. You are not exempt. Your life has to change just like ours. Just because you're an athlete doesn't mean a thing. Just because you make millions of dollars doesn't mean a thing. Change your lifestyle just like we have to mm-hmm. to keep your loved ones safe. And secondly, the NBA, if we're going to complete a season, it's going to take you to be disciplined. Stop acting like little children and can't miss a night out of turning up. I don't have anything else to say after that, man. It, it, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Everyone must follow the rules. There's no, there's no, there is no conspiracy theory where the the, the league is picking on you. You know why would the league not want him to play? That doesn't make sense. Why would the league don't want Kevin Durant to play in a national televised game? Come on, don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Entitlement, man. So. Most people, instead of taking responsibility, they want to point the fingers at others. Like I said before, causing the fact right. the league may have dropped the ball, the ball at that moment. Right. But KD has to do better. Harden has to do better. Kyrie has to do better. better. All the players a, a host across of others. the league. Yeah. Just do better, man. <laughs> if you love the game that much and you love your loved ones, and if you ever want to see the fans back in the stands, this is not helping. No. And 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 this is the thing. What they need to understand. There are people. And most of the people that I know, which is in my environment, we're quarantining to the limit to what we have to. Of course, we have to go to work. We come home to keep our our family safe. We stay home. Mm-hmm. We go out to get groceries. There is no going out to the local bar to watch you guys play. We stay home to watch you guys play. Mm-hmm. That gives us things to do. Yeah. You have to change your lifestyle just as well as we do. I, I I can't wait to make it to a game, but we, it's not going on right now. No doubt. But when it's safe to do so, I I mean, enough of the crying and the entitlement as if somebody's picking on me. I mean that when I when I heard every last one of them talk and Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, 
who's not playing tonight, not because of protocol, not you. You took the you look. It was like maybe 11, 15 seconds left in the game. You were in the game last night. You took the last one of the last few shots that on a desperation of them trying to come back to win the game. If you could do that, then you should be playing in this game, especially today with Philadelphia, especially with Kevin Durant not being able to be there. But now you're out. But I know it's all about him having those baby tantrums, not about his play, because we already we talked about this. He's an assassin, but he's too emotional. And that same game that we're talking about that, that KD couldn't play against Toronto, in the fourth quarter, I can tell you, and I believe, and I know most of the stuff we talk about is our opinion. And in my opinion, Kyrie was having another one of those tantrums. He didn't take Kyrie Irving, I'm talking about. He did not take a shot until that shot I just mentioned with 30, uh, like, like 15 seconds left in the game in the entire fourth quarter. And KD is not there. So between him and Harden, they're the bulls of the team right now. Those are the leaders. They're, those are the number one or two, however it goes, options. How Kyrie Irving, Mr. Clutch, and he is Mr. Clutch, don't take a shot in the fourth quarter in a close game and they lose. This is the Kyrie Irving that you can't count on. This is what I believe why you, this team, with, with where they're going, with Kyrie Irving taking the, the most shots and all that, because you never know when he's going to have an emotional breakdown and decide, I don't want to play. I'm taking my ball and go home. Well, listen, man, it all goes back to the L word, leadership, right? We're talking about KD as far as the COVID protocol and James Harden's irresponsible comments after the game and Kyrie's play late in the game, his refusal to actually be a superstar because, like you said, he probably was silently protesting. Mm. It is what it is. This is I don't know them personally, but they've given enough ammunition that will go off that going forward. But just got to do better. Be responsible and understand the positions that you're in because at the end of the day, you are you should be leaders on and off the court and others are watching you so if you're acting in this manner it, it just it doesn't bode well i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about and then we then i don't have nothing else to say after all right guys for yours we just got finished having a, our and our last episode which was on the brooklyn nets we just got finished praising these same players that we're talking about kyrie 39 an assassin, the efficiency of Kevin Durant, Harden, sacrificing his game, distributing, getting assists, and how dangerous they are. The way they played against the Clippers. And now, in less than two days later, here come this. And that's why I can't believe in this team. And I know all you fans out there, the, the Brooklyn fans that you have out there, you have to pay attention to this. But why? Because I'm not a big Brooklyn fan, but I'm a NBA fan. Mm -hmm. And to deny that team as if they, they can't do it, that means you're just hating. Yeah. That team could be dangerous. The reason why I don't consider them dangerous is because of these kind of emotions. These kind of setbacks, no leadership, Kyrie's emotions. I seen him do this in a playoff series against the Cavs. Just stop talking to his teammates for no reason. And ultimately, that causes problems. Mm -hmm. And that there it is. I can't believe in this team. It's all the talent that they have. It's not about what they do on the floor. It's mentally. What they do off and on the floor mentally that that's going to keep them from being what they actually could be all right so there you have it man <laughs> i feel you man this is team sports it's the same with the podcast um dream team is out there comment section let us know what you think you've been in tune with the, the league thus far this season you've seen what the brooklyn nets brought to the table but as far as the situation with kd and the protocol goes what do you think 
was he irresponsible uh, putting himself in that position? Did the league drop the ball? How do you think he should uh, move going forward? Um, also, Kyrie. Can, can I tell them my answer? <laughs> Go ahead. All of above. Yeah. The league, KD, all guilty. Mm-hmm. All of them dropped the ball. We rolling with that. All right. No doubt. So, Big Unk said it all. I don't have to say anything. I'm just going to close out. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Don't forget to like the video. Once again, leave a comment. Let us know exactly what you think about this subject. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, don't forget to, forget to hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. We appreciate all you out there. Y'all be safe. Once again, we're still in a pandemic. Wear your mask, social distance, and be responsible. We love y'all. Be good. Peace.